All right. Hello, everyone. Um, so today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, what this week is going to, or excuse me, what next, yeah, this week, next week, uh, is going to look like, uh, just some information that um, I have learned. So uh, first, we're really just going to quick talk about what um, College Board has sent out. I'm sure all of you are aware of what that is. Um, we'll then talk about um, what the school has told me uh, and what our schedule is going to look like. And then finally, we'll talk about our uh, staying productive uh, with Mr. Monk. Uh, so let's start uh, with what College Board has sent out to you guys. And I am sure that uh, many of you have um, already seen this or read this or whatever. If you haven't, here you go. Um, basically, uh, AP exams across the board are good to go. Um, there might be some ex ex exceptions of that, but I, I don't know what those are. Um, basically, all that's going to happen is that the tests are going to be taken at home. Um, you can go to the College Board website and find all of this out. It's very simple. Um, but uh, the for most tests and for the psychology test it is going to be a free response so FRQ style uh, test where you guys will be writing FRQs you will have 45 minutes to do so I don't know what that changes because normally you would have 50 minutes but now they want it down to 45 um, so um, I think uh, you will have options to type things up you will have options to um, handwrite them take a picture send it I think there's gonna be a lot of ways for you to do it but the AP exams are on, um, so uh, I don't think the date has changed either. Our date is May the 12th. Um, you're supposed to have an extra day, another day, like later on, depending if stuff happens, that you uh, have the option to um, to take it. Um, I don't know about all that or when that is, but the, they'll let us know more. Um, but uh, the other aspect that we need to recognize is that two of the units or two of the chapters have been taken off of the AP exam and that is the um, uh, abnormal psychology and social psychology. So uh, probably two of the more fun units have been knocked off because um, they are concerned about uh, teachers having enough time to teach them um, so that they will no longer be available they will no longer be on the AP exam which kind of stinks um, for those of you in first semester you think you remember and probably enjoyed um, you know a lot of a lot of students enjoyed that, those sections. Most of the kids really like it. Um, so second semester, we won't be doing that. Um, and first semester, you can you know you can forget all about it. It won't be on the on the AP exam. So let's transition to um, our schedule for the rest of the year, or for for most of it. Um, so uh, for uh, you see the top part is is just all the stuff that we've already covered. You can ignore all that. You can just look at the the bottom section underneath spring break. So we have three chapters that we have to cover. We have to cover learning. We have to cover cognition, and we have to cover personality. Those are the three things that we still have have yet to talk about. Um, and um, our school, Fort Bend ISD, um, is not wanting us to do anything school-wise until we've had a week of training. Um, basically, they're going to train us in stuff that we already know, um, slash, sh you know, make sure that everyone is on the same page. I, I, I get what they're doing. They're wanting everything done. We're like, we are prepared for this, but not everyone else is, and so they want to get everything like laid out, uh, which is fine. Um, it just means another week of you guys not having school. Um, so March 30th, we will re kind of restart in earnest. Um, I, I'm, next week, I may post the rest of the videos of cognition and personality. Learning stuff is already up uh, for you guys to watch, but you don't need to watch them yet. Um, as we're not really sure, you know, I'm not really sure exactly what it's going to be. I don't, I don't know if they're going to have expectations of me hopping on every day to, uh, do lesson times and stuff like that. Um, I promise you that, um, we will, I will do them at night. If they, uh, any sort of lessons or whatever that they want us to do, I will do at night. Um, you know, we've already, we've already talked about, uh, when you guys are most alert and I will not be doing classes at eight o'clock in the morning. So I, I promise you that, uh, even if they tell me. We won't do it at those times. So um, once that is done, we really just get kick. We start kicking into reviewing for the AP exam. Um, I don't need a lot of other time to do uh, some of this stuff. 
supposedly the AP exam is going to be either on the same day or a very similar time. Um, and so we'll have three weeks of reviewing. Um, I'll kick off with units one, two, and three on April the 20th through the 24th. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like, um, but we'll, we'll cross that border. Maybe it'll be uh, three days in that week. I, you know, do a review on the, on a specific unit. I don't know. Um, and then finally, uh, and then March 27th through the 1st, we'll do four, five, and six. The last week of, you know, May 4th through 8th, it'll be just kind of open. We'll just do, I, I don't know what that looks like yet. Just give me time. Um, and then finally, the test is on, uh, the exam's on the 12th. Uh, so um, I know May 4th through 8th, you guys will maybe be taking other exams. I don't know, guys. I, you know, we'll see. Um, I, I, I don't know the schedule for, um, for, um, the APs if they're, uh, the AP exams, if they're changing anything. So just kind of like know that March 30th through April 17th, we're going to cover three chapters and it'll be fine. And then after that, we'll, you know, we'll figure it out. Well, you guys will be prepared. Okay. Um, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do a bunch of multiple choice questions. You just have to write stuff. It'll be easy. You'll, you'll love it. It'll be great. Um, so um, let's go to the last thing, um, and that is uh, staying productive with Mr. Monk. So uh, this uh, was a uh, – this is just a period of time where um, – I want, you know, I selfishly want to be productive, but I also want to kind of extend that out to you. You guys, I, you, we are in a period of time where there is not a lot going on, um, where, you know, you get a chance to catch up on your sleep, watch TV shows, um, you know, play video games, read books, and I encourage you to do all of those things. Um, but what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to walk away from uh, this pandemic and feel like, well, I, you know, I recharge my batteries. Yes, that's good. Um, but I, you know, I'm not walking away with, with something. And this is your opportunity to walk away with something. Um, so, uh, you, uh, studying, you know, learning a new language seems a bit extreme, but learning how to juggle, learning how to paint, doing this, doing that, like find something that you've always wanted to do, but you know, you don't have time to cause you're in school and whatnot and, and find a way to do that. You know, um, I've started yoga recently. I like, I've always wanted to do it, but, uh, you know, I haven't, and I've started doing yoga and, uh, you know, it's cool. It's fun. Um, but the, you know, for me, one of the big things is, um, I've decided to get a, get a master's and possibly a PhD in psychology. Um, and you know, I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's going to look like or how I'm going to do that, but I've got a period of time where I can just study for, um, for the GRE. So, you know, that's what I've been doing as, uh, some of you saw on the stream, uh, a while back, like I'm just studying for a GR, for a G, for the psychology GRE. So I'm doing what you guys are doing. So every night from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, every weeknight from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, I'm going to hop on this zoom meeting and I'm going to study. I'm going to have music on. Um, if you want to join me, um, it's an opportunity, uh, for me to be held accountable for working. Like I can't, you know, I can't really goof off when I've got 10 kids or two kids or three kids that are in the, the chat room and being like, are you studying Mr. Monk? No, I'm, playing video games. No. So uh, it's an opportunity for me. But if you've got a project that you're working on and you think is interesting, I'd love to hear about it. If you just want to talk psychology, I'd love to talk about it. If you just want to talk about life, um, you know, whatever. This is just an opportunity um, maybe also for you to spend some time do working on one of your projects. So, um, you know, part of it's just an encouragement. Part of it's me trying to, um, you know, motivate myself to get some, get this done. I've got my um, test in April, uh, unless, uh, they haven't told us much since the, uh, since the pandemic. So hopefully, hopefully it still happens, but we'll see. Um, so, the, so yeah, so that's what that's for. And, uh, hopefully you guys will, uh, get a chance. I'm once again, I'm not concerned how many people hop on. Um, but it'll be fun. Get work done, you know, have a little relaxing time. So, um, cool. So uh, that'll do it for me. Uh, so thanks a lot, guys, for your time. And uh, we will see you all next week.